The Tie Cats, Charlie Taft, challenged the call. You be the judge. Did Jason French hang on to this ball, the two point conversion? And this, the pass hit the ground prior to the receiver gaining full possession. The ruling on the play stays, stands. It is an incomplete pass. All right, we want to look down at the bottom of the, of the screen here. The ball is just going to come out and hit the ground just before he falls down. To make that call at full speed, you have to commend the referees. I know from up here it looked like that it was a, it was a completion, but the referees got it right. And you go back, there's a little hand play. It looked like it could almost been face guarding on this play by Khalil Carter. But French has the opportunity to catch this ball. Makes a good athletic play, but can't come down with the ball. So it goes for not. Charlie Taft's challenge does not work. After that 88 yard strike from Moss to Brock Ralph, prior to that, the Argos or the Ticats had had a total of 88 yards passing. So they equaled it on that one strike. Dorsey still on his feet. Dorsey with a great effort down the left sideline. Almost gets out to the 40 yard line. And that's Dominic Dorsey giving them those singles and doubles that they want from him. He is, as soon as he gets the ball, all he's thinking about is getting positive yards, going north and south, and making it happen. Here's Brenda. Well, Rob Hitchcock was honored at the half of Mike Morreale for all their years of service to this organization. And uh, Rob, your fondest memory as a Thai Cat? Well, there's, there's a lot of them, but uh, I'd have to say the 99 Grey Cup. We won that in, uh, in, in Vancouver. It's probably the, one of the most best highlights out of my life. Well, you, you spoke at halftime about your 12 years with the club, but said there should have been a 13. I, I obviously you still feel you could contribute to this team. Well, yeah. Anytime that you uh, you come into a training camp and you've been told that you're you know you still have it, you can still play, and then you get released. It, it's bittersweet, but uh, you know what? You understand that it's a business decision, and life goes on, and so and time's a good healer. So, you know, being out here right now, seeing these guys, knowing you can still play the game, is uh, is a bit disheartening. But hey. Uh, I love these guys, and I hope they come back and beat them. Well, I, I know that if the fans had their say, they'd have you on the field today. Uh, congratulations on a great career. Thanks, Brenda. Appreciate it. Let's go back to Steve. Thank you, Brenda. Rob Hitchcock and Mike Morielli making it official today. They are retirees. Michael Bishop, far from retired, guns one out to the left side, and it's complete to Broussard making his first start for the Argos today, and he has been a factor. Oh, yeah. Broussard is enjoying this CFL game, especially with Michael Bishop at the helm. He is a fun quarterback to watch because he can make throws, like we said before, that not a whole lot of other quarterbacks can make. Um, he has a short, small window in which to throw this ball and uh, makes a nice throw just before Broussard gets to the sidelines and keeps the drive going. You can definitely tell he's in a rhythm right now. Broussard, three catches for 105 yards. That was a 24-yard gain. First and 10 Argos. Bishop buys some time with the roll. Fires deep. has got that open. Almost complete. In and out of the arms of Byron Parker. We saw that act last week against Winnipeg, did we not? Yes, we did, and we almost saw a, a nice replay of that act. I mean, Byron Parker was open, and I just think the only thing that kept him from catching this ball is not being a receiver. I mean, Michael Bishop puts some air on it, gives him a chance to catch it, and you see him slow down when he didn't have to, and it misjudges the ball, slows down a little bit, and runs away from it instead of running to the ball. Uh, the more Parker gets out.